what is going on everyone i hope you're doing well i think we're live so i'm going to start talking but i i'll never know if we're live until um people start saying things in the chat i think this yeah this chair is a little too high all right so in today's english lesson we are going to be talking about french fries yeah but not just french fries we will talk about a couple different types of french fries but then we will try to talk about other words like shoestring and waffle and dipping sauces so hopefully we can have a little bit of fun talking about things that we don't usually talk about when we talk about english lessons like french fries now i know some folks are celebrating easter so maybe you are watching on replay. Maybe some folks are celebrating Ramadan. So you are not allowed to eat during this live lesson. It just depends on where you're watching from. So maybe there are a lot of people watching on replay. I would like to welcome them. And if you are watching or listening on the podcast, welcome. This is going to be a tricky one for the podcast because so much of this involves pictures. And when I was developing this lesson on French fries, I found it's very hard to describe taste in English. But before we get too far, Tanya, I do believe she is busy, but she dropped a super chat. I think she said that she would watch on the replay but I would like to give her a shout out. She dropped that super chat, so I have a little something for you. Thank you so much, Tanya. Oh, thank you so much for the super chat. Grabbing a little drink uh, during that super chat. Um, I always put the super chats back into the channel, so I do have a new camera. I'm not so sure I like it, but a new camera. I have a new microphone that I used in yesterday's lesson. That will be coming out on Wednesday. I might need to tweak it a little bit, but my mood is here. Hope you're doing well. Joseph, Freddie, Freddie from France. So France is going to come up in this English lesson on French fries, but are they really French? We will have to talk about that. Mega is here from India. Amina is here from Canada. I hope you are all doing so well. Apple the Frog lives in Thailand, I think, right? Thailand? Indonesia? It's been a little while. Yeah, it's been a little while for Apple, but I hope uh, hope you're doing well, my friend. Filippo is here. Buongiorno. Uh, buona Pasqua. Hello. Happy Easter. All right, Danny's here. The French are out in force today. Yeah, this is a strange topic. I, I, I try to do weird topics every once in a while. The last weird topic was when we did birds and nuts. So I thought I would have a little fun. Luke, that man is from Poland, and I just saw him over on Instagram. Pony, welcome. Thailand. Lives in the U.S. now, though. Uh, whoa. Kashal. This is about French fries. We're not going to talk about how are you, but hey, how are you? Works just fine. I say it probably 30 times a day. Hey, how are you? Doing okay? It's another way to say it. So, Korea is in the house. Laos is in the house. Lao. Bangladesh. Welcome. All right, Harry, how are you? Yeah, where are the colorful lights? There's only one because uh, my basement is still getting fixed. So I just set up the minimum amount of stuff possible. Still involves uh, microphones and a light. Nate up. I hope you're doing so well. All right, it's 3 p.m. in France. Oh, you've already eaten but not french fries. Well, let's Olga in Turkey. 
Hope you're doing well. I think um, that's the new name in English, right? Aren't most people trying to say Turkey now instead of Turkey? I'm going to work on that. I'm going to see if that is the new way to say your country in English. Right. We have a lot of people here, 161, who are waiting to learn English. So, Mohammed, I am doing well. I hope you are. There you go. Hong, hope you're doing well. Vietnam is in the house. Tambe. Tambe. Wait, is that goodbye? Xin chào. Xin chào. I have a student from Vietnam, and he is teaching me some Vietnamese. So, xin chào. That's all I know. Tambe and xin chào. Let's talk a little bit about oh, so many people in the chat. I would like to say hi to, but Siri is in the house. Very cool. Damascus, maybe. Let's talk about French fries. French fries. There we go. And of course, nothing in English is easy because if you are in the United States, you will call them French fries. If you are in England or Great Britain, you will call them something else. I'm wondering, does anybody know that's something else? All right. French fries. That's French fries in English, American English. But maybe they aren't. Maybe they aren't from France. We call them French. But some people say they were actually invented in Belgium. Now, I know Danny is here. Freddie Wolf is here. I do not want to upset anyone from France. I have way more subscribers from France than Belgium. So I am going to say, French fries, those were invented in France. Some people might be wrong and say they were actually invented in Belgium. I don't know. I'm going with France, okay? But let me know. I think you're right. I think they call them chips at Atlanta. I think they do. They might call them chips, Khalifi. Yeah. If you go to England, just be aware those same things are probably going to be called chips. Now, are the Brits wrong? Yeah, I think so. We should call them French fries. But just be aware, if you do go to England, they might call those things chips. And guess what? There are over 15 different types of French fries in English. We will not talk about all of them, but we will talk about the most common types of French fries. Please let me know in the chat, do you like French fries? I put a poll up on this stream when I thought I was going live on Saturday 33% of the people that watch this channel said they do not eat French fries. Oh, dear. Probably very healthy people. Probably very healthy people. But yeah, my mood's right. A little bit unhealthy. Yeah. However, we are going to talk about one type of fry that might be healthy because it's mostly potato. So usually the bigger or the thicker the French fry is, the healthier it is. Cecilia does not. And I know Cecilia from Argentina is very healthy. Nepal. Oh man, I would love to visit Nepal one day. Long Tong. I think there's a trail in the Himalayas called Long Tong, and I would like to go there. That's right. Harry's a French fry guy. Me too. I am a French fry guy. So, Yulia, it's delicious. May not be healthy, but it tastes good. Therefore, it is delicious. All right, let's go into this. In the United States, 
This is what we call chips. They're a little thinner. They're a little crunchier. And they have ridges. Let me make the picture a little bigger. You see those little bumps? Those are ridges. Ridges. Chips have ridges. French fries probably don't. But they do have something else. We might say they, uh, they have crinkles. So we'll get to that in just a second. But going back, just to make the people of Belgium a little bit more upset. Some people think French fries were invented in Belgium. I'm not so sure. France. Let's go with France. How about this? They are called chips in British English. Just in case you want to practice shadowing, I do have a sentence right below. I will say the sentence again. If you want to practice saying it, feel free. Have a go. They are called chips in British English. But we know they're wrong, right? That's why you're watching this channel. Because I am an American. These are chips in the United States. Hey, you know what though? British English. I am a big fan of English with Lucy. You probably know her. And um, she actually knows me now. She knows my name. Can you believe it? She called me Brent in one of her live streams. I'm a huge fan of English with Lucy. I could listen to her talk all day long. But I do think they get it wrong. These are chips. These are French fries. Just had to say that. All right. Let's talk about the difference between raw and burnt. Now, that picture is a picture of a potato. And you probably know this, but you might not know the English word. So let's talk about where French fries come from. French fries come from potatoes. Raw is another way to say uncooked. So if you look at that picture of a potato, it could become a French fry. Now, the way that potato is cut, it looks like they will become potato chips, maybe not French fries. But if you look at that brown part on the outside of a potato, we will call that the peel or the skin. So the outside of a potato is called the peel or the skin. Now, one thing we got to talk about here is the spelling of potato versus potatoes. So for some reason, we add an ES when it becomes plural. I don't know why, but one potato, two potatoes. English, right? Sometimes, no idea what is going on. Oh, Myanmar. I just watched a video last night from Myanmar. Where were they going? Japur? Japur? I think that's right on the border of Myanmar and India, the state of Japur in india all right mahmoud he's from mauritania and he says that they also use the word chips in arabic no could it be that the americans are wrong could it be all right ryan had to go maybe you can watch on replay okay so freddie he's from france so let's talk here hey Oh, I'm just starting to read his comment. I might be wrong about something else. Is it possible? No, French fries. Please don't tell me they're not from France. Who would know better than somebody from France? Hey, Brent, French fries are not related to France. French is an old Gaelic word that means cut into little pieces. No, nope. I am plugging my ears. I do not want to hear it. I want to pretend that French fries are from France. Yeah, they really are delicious. 
They really are. I'm getting a little hungry. Oh, Olga is wondering where can I eat the most delicious French fries in the United States? I might have to do a live lesson. No, I can't do a live lesson from there. But if you look at the lesson I did a couple years ago at the beach, I don't know what it is. But there is something called pier fries. They are not in this lesson. But if you go to the lesson I made about the beach, you will see that the best french fries are found on a beach near a pier. And we call them pier fries. Something about the salty air from the ocean that mixes with the french fries. Ah, so good. Afghanistan's in the house. Welcome. Yes, Sharon, tato chips have ridges. Ridges. Mega. That's what I'm talking about. India. India has it right. Even though at one time the British were in India, India has it right. Amina says she loves French fries. Whoa, who's that? They are wrong, right? Are you quoting me? Yes, the Brits are wrong. I know they invented the language. It's why we call it English. It came from England, but come on, America, right? I'm just kidding. Xin chào, xin chào. All right, I love saying that. Tambe. I'm trying to work on my goodbye. All right. Okay, Tommy. You are probably healthier than I am. Tommy is from China, but he says, I don't eat oily, salty foods. Oh, that's my favorite food. The oily, the salty ones, which is why it is so bad for you because it tastes so good. My mood. I think he's lying. It's a nice hair, Brent, without the hat. Keep it like that. Mm. I would love to keep this hair, but nature has other plans it is disappearing so sad oh harry says i don't really care where they are invented from at least i can enjoy them buy me some brent i'll be there in no time who well i am going to a party today a little gathering with my brother and he is going to be making french fries harry if you weren't in indonesia I'm sure I could get you an invite. All right, let's get back to the lesson. I could read the chat all day long. Daily update. Good to see you in here. Thanks for being a member. If anybody else would like to become a member, there is a link. Gold members. We're going over, we're changing from Volley and we're going over to Slack. Volley is shutting down at the end of this month. All right, let's get back to English here. Get back to English. We just talked about raw. I don't think, I don't think you would like to eat a raw potato. Maybe some people would. I don't think it would taste very good to me. And the opposite of raw is burnt. Yes, you burn food when you cook it too much. I do have a saying here. A sentence for you. If you burn most types of food, it will turn black. And if you look at the picture, sorry, people on the podcast, um, those are definitely burnt potato wedges. We will talk about potato wedges in just a little bit, but those are clearly burnt. I don't think I would like to eat those french fries and i don't think i would like to eat a raw potato my french fries have to be cooked somewhere in the middle burnt food not good but let's talk about this type of fry we talked about how potato chips have ridges these are crinkle cut fries i will make that picture a little bigger for you. And I would like to talk about the verb crinkle 
because those french fries have crinkles they are crinkle cut fries and i thought crinkle might be a new word for you so you can crinkle paper i didn't want to make it too loud so i have a paper towel but i am going to pretend this is a sheet of paper i am going to crumble this piece of paper but luckily it won't hurt your ears and now this piece of paper has crinkles in it. I can't see it, but hopefully you can. Little crinkles because I I crumbled up the paper. It's a phrasal verb we might use. When you're done with paper and you want to throw it in the trash can, you might crumble it up. And if you pull apart the piece of paper... It will have crinkles in it. Yeah. So I think those might be a couple new words for you. Crumble, crinkle. So you crumble up the paper and then when you pull it apart, there will be crinkles in it. Gotta love English, right? But those are crinkle cut fries. Let's see, do I have any? No, I have no sentences for crinkle. I just had that demonstration with my paper towel. Oh, here's a, uh, a note to remind me, to remind you to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I would also like to turn on members only chat. How do I do that? Did we get a new channel member, by the way? So you can join us on members only chat. I will turn that on for five minutes. Hey Siri, please set my timer for five minutes. And it is members only chat. So members, thank you so much for becoming members. This is the time where you can just leave your questions in the chat and I will try to answer them as quickly as possible. Five minutes. I do not have a sheet for questions, a Google form. This is a, a quick lesson today, but I would like to get a couple questions in from members. What about this? I do think these are my favorite. I have a sentence for you. Curly fries are probably my favorite kind of fries. Curly fries. And let's talk about that word curl. Most of the time, if you hear curl or curly, think hair. And if you see the picture of those two people there, they both have very curly hair. Curls. Oh, curly fries though. You know who makes the best curly fries? At least in the United States? No, it's not McDonald's. We will talk about McDonald's later, but it's a place called Arby's, which um, I am a huge fan of. Let me pull up the website here. Let's talk about Arby's for a second. I wonder, do you have Arby's in your country? They are not extremely popular here in the United States. McDonald's, Burger King, probably even Wendy's. They are more popular than Arby's. But let's take a look at their website here. And they, they look at that. Wait a second. Can you see that? Those are crinkle cut fries. I promise. I promise. Wendy, sorry. Arby's is known for their curly fries. Where are they? This, I promise. Yeah, the, there they are, the curly fries. So those are probably my favorite type of fries, curly fries. But I saw a couple other things that maybe we should talk about here. Oh, yeah, look at this. Loaded fries. 
find an Arby's for pricing, availability, or to start an online order. All right, so that word right there, availability, that makes me think that loaded fries are not available at all restaurants. Maybe only certain types or certain places you might find Arby's. Loaded fries, though. That means they put a ton of stuff on those fries. Looks like they were even putting chicken on those fries. Maybe a little bit of gravy. All right, loaded fries. I could handle that. I thought there was something else I wanted to see here, too. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. More flavor, more zing. More zing. That's another way to say it's probably just a little bit spicy. All right. Enough about Arby's. But I did want to show you the best French fries, in my opinion, do come from a place called Arby's. All right, let's see here. I think we got a new channel member, but I did not see. Oh, there we are. Okay. Filippo, welcome to the club. Thank you so much. There are quite a few videos, probably over a hundred that are available for you. So check those out once this live stream ends and I will have two more videos by the end of the week answering questions from Tanya and Williams. I don't think Williams is in here. Chef Cat, hope you're doing well. Good to see you here. All right, Turkia right? Turkia. Let me try to pull up. Yeah. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Where are you? I'm all over the place here. Where is it? Let me find it. Where'd you go, Filippo? Hang on. Filippo, thank you so much for becoming a member. I have a little something for you while I take a drink of water. New member, make sure you check the members tab for the discord, the members chat and the bonus videos. Yeah, Filippo, thank you so much. Speaking of members, let me go in and see if there were any questions from channel members. Mina says, hello to Filippo. Got to be some channel member questions, right? Harry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You were talking about French fries a little while ago, and now it's it's not helping, is it? Even more hungry. Mega's here. Cecilia, I do want to thank you all for being channel members. Freddie. What? McDonald's is making colored fries out of vegetables. Is that the same in the U.S.? No. No. Hmm. No, not that I have heard of. I have heard that they um, have changed the recipe back in the 90s. So we will talk about McDonald's coming up because they have something called shoestring french fries. But let's see, looking through members... See, ah, mega, great question, great question. Sir, curly fries is made up of potato or onion? Okay, so going back to that picture, great question. I did not put this on the lesson, but we do have something called onion rings in English, and they are made from onions, just like it might sound like. So let me see, can I put up a picture of some onion rings? They're, they're exactly what they sound like. They're rings, or circles, made from onions, and they are fried just the same way as a French fry. Yeah, okay, lots of pictures here. Let me share this with you. There we go. So yeah, those are onion rings. Curly fries, a little bit different, made from potatoes, 
Onion rings. Oh, great question, Mega. Thank you. Hey, Williams is here. Do I have a new camera? I see the quality is better. Okay. I was hoping, I don't know. I was hoping somebody would say it's better. It's not as good, but I do have a new camera. Thank you, channel members, for buying that camera. All right. Hopefully, I didn't miss any members, but I do need to switch back. Let everybody back in here. Anyone, even the people who want to spam. There we go. Let's get back to the lesson, right? We have curly fries. We've talked about curls that you might find on somebody's hair. But what about these? I think I have to mention Belgium again. Waffles. Waffle fries. Now, these are waffles. And you know what I do? I love to have waffles for breakfast. And I also, I like to put butter and maple syrup on my waffles. Those are the traditional waffles. You can have them for breakfast. A lot of people do. You could probably have them for dinner. I don't think there is a rule against having waffles for dinner. But we also have something called waffle fries. And that's what they look like. There is one fast food chain here in the United States called chick fil Chick-fil-A, I need to bring this up too, Chick-fil-A, none of these are sponsored, but let me see, I can bring it up, but I do think, okay, let's look at Chick-fil-A here, this is just one healthy website after another, Chick-fil-A, they are not as popular as McDonald's, they have fewer locations. They do sell chicken. But where are their friends? Hang on. French fries. So sides in English, that's not the main meal. It's just an extra part of the meal. And look at that. They have waffle fries. Let me tell you, those are good. Let's see. A large waffle fry has 600 calories. It's quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so be careful when you're eating French fries. Just, just in case, Cecilia, I know you are very healthy. If you do go to Chick-fil-A, I do think I saw fruit there. Yeah. So you could, if you want, you could get a fruit cup. So... Looks like there are strawberries, mandarin oranges. Those are little oranges. We call them mandarin oranges, blueberries, maybe an apple down there. I don't know what that green fruit is. Is it a kiwi? Some kind of melon, maybe. So if you do go to Chick-fil-A and you are healthy and you don't want waffle fries, you could probably get a fruit cup. Probably be a little healthier. All right. We talked about waffles. Now, shoestring fries. Probably the most famous fries in the world because these are the type of fries McDonald's makes. Probably the most popular French fry in the world. Shoestring fries are probably the most famous. Let me read that correctly. Shoestring fries are probably the most famous kind of French fries because, of course, McDonald's makes shoestring fries. I had not heard of the vegetable fries that McDonald's is coming out with in France. But let's take a look at the McDonald's website. No, 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 sorry. This is not the McDonald's website. This is a different website. But it just shows how popular French fries are. 
from McDonald's. McDonald's buys 3.4 billion pounds of potatoes each year. I can't even think of what 3.4 billion pounds are. It's a lot though. I don't know what that is in kilograms. Three point, hey Siri, what is 3.4 billion pounds in kilograms? She says like 1.5 billion kilograms for anyone who is not using the English system. Even the English don't use the English system anymore, but we do. Hey, look at this. This is where the word shoestring comes from. It is literally a string you might find on your shoes. But how about this? Another word for shoestring is lace. Let's read here at the bottom. Another word for shoestrings is laces. Be sure to tie your laces before you go for a run. You might also hear this. Shoestring budget. That is when you don't have a lot of money. A budget is the money you need each month to live. So to pay your rent, to pay for food, that's your budget. The money you have to spend on something. You might have a monthly budget. You might have a weekly budget. I did an, a whole English lesson on money a few months ago. You may want to look that up for more information on money. But if your family is on a shoestring budget, you don't have a lot of extra money. So you might hear shoestring budget in English. And if you do, that means a family, a business doesn't have a lot of extra money. Let's just check the chat here. Saeed, hope you're doing well. Sabandeep, hope you're doing well. How to improve your vocabulary. You are here. You are watching. You are listening to me. That is helping with your vocabulary. I promise. Oh, yes. Williams. I think I read that already, right? I do have a new camera. Just checking to see if uh, there are any questions here. Oh, can't even see me. Maybe that's a good thing. Chef Ket, I've been in America for a while ago. They're an expert on unhealthy foods, but they are very tasty. They have export globally fast food restaurants. Our children didn't give up these foods. Yeah, Chef Cat, that, that's the problem. So if you introduce them to, guess I got to get rid of this. If you introduce them to apples and oranges and blueberries, healthy things, then they have french fries. French fries win every time. Wait a second. Audie, it's your wife's birthday? Well, happy birthday. Hope she has a good birthday. All right. Just checking to see. Spain's in the house. Fernando, hope you're doing well, my friend. More English. And I do need to leave pretty soon. We have a lot we need to get to still. Yes. A lot. Who knew there was so much to talk about when talking about French fries? All right. So steak fries is another type of French fry. And these are one of the thickest fries, not the thickest, one of the thickest. We'll talk about some fries that are even thicker than steak fries called wedges. I don't even know if they're french fries anymore. They're called potato wedges. We will get to that soon. But I didn't want to show a real steak just in case somebody would be offended, but steak is not usually made from chicken. But in the picture, it looks like there are some chicken tenders with those thick 
steak fries. Steak fries are the thickest type of fry that we've talked about, but it's not the thickest type. Thick, not easy to say. Let me say that sentence one more time, just in case you want to practice shadowing. Thick. You need to put your tongue between your lips and your teeth to say thick. Steak fries are, okay, I I, want to make sure I read this correctly. Hang on. Okay. Steak fries are the thickest type of fry that we've talked about, but not the thickest type. So, so far, steak fries are the thickest type of fry that we've talked about but we're going to talk about one that's even thicker right now. Potato wedges. Potato wedges. I'm pretty sure wedges are the thickest type of fries. And like I said before, I don't even know if these are even French fries anymore. It's basically when you take a potato and cut it into fourths. Also, not easy to say. If you cut a potato into fourths, you make four pieces out of it. Yeah, those might be cut into eighths. You would cut a potato eight times. But yeah, potato wedges are pretty thick. And they're the healthiest French fry. The thicker the French fry, the healthier it is. Less fat. All right, a couple more here, and then I must go. What about this? Wedge. We just talked about potato wedges, but you can also have other types of wedges in English. I think like four more. So you might wedge that wedge underneath a door to keep it from closing. So in the picture... There's a triangle looking thing. We would call that a wedge. So wedge can be a noun. Wedge can be a verb. You might need a wedge to split a log. It looks like it looks like that wedge has been wedged inside that log. Take a look at that picture right there. You might need a wedge to split a log, but then look at these. Bunch of different wedges here. You have some high heel shoes in that picture. Those are sometimes called wedges. If they're really thick, really wide, wedge shoes. In the middle, it's a golf club. I don't play golf, but I think you can call that golf club a wedge. And then right there, you might have lemon or lime wedges. In the picture, that looks like a lime wedge because it's green. You might put a lime or lemon wedge in your water. Hope that helps. Let's just check the chat to make sure there are no questions. Mr. Super Chat. Adi the tie. I should be giving your wife a gift, but Audie the Thai is giving me a gift. Thank you so much. Let me see. I got a little something for you here. Oh, thank you so much for the super chat. And I just, just took a drink of water. Hey, if you haven't subscribed or given this English lesson a like, would you mind doing that? Looks like we do have... 334 likes, which is great. Thank you so much. A little over a hundred people in here watching now, 113. So it seems like most of you have dropped a like. Thank you so much, Audie. I do hope you and your wife have a great day. I think your day might be almost done over there in Thailand. All right, checking through the chat. I don't know. I don't know about this, Mahmoud. I've read in the news that some restaurants fry towel mix. No, I hope not. I mean, 
I don't know. I don't think that is. Um, I hope it doesn't happen in the United States. Shoestring br- budget can be used instead of a tight budget. Yeah, Cecilia. Yeah, if you're on a tight budget, it means you don't have a lot of extra money, just like a shoestring budget. Good question. But Cecilia is an English teacher. She was probably doing that to help other people. Yeah, her English is pretty awesome. All right. Hey, Columbia is in the house. That's awesome. Thank you, Nelson. I've seen a few videos from Columbia recently. Two of my favorite YouTubers went to Colombia and one just released a video from Venezuela. So I know a lot of people from Venezuela have moved to Colombia because Colombia is doing very well. Pretty Wolf is a channel member already. Thank you so much. Dropped a super chat right there. Thank you, Freddie. Oh, thank you so much for the super chat. Was that because I said French fries are from France? No, I know you. I know you said that French fries or French has nothing to do with the fries, but I'm going to keep pretending French fries are from France. Freddie Wolf, thank you so much. All right, Mexico. Would love to visit Mexico one day. It's not too far. I might. Cancun. So I can visit um, Chichen Itza. Not far from Cancun. Yeah, I would love to. What? Ulaanbaatar. Mongolia is in the house. Welcome. Poland. Love it. I've heard. What's the, what's the most? Not Warsaw. What's the most beautiful? Oh, the name escapes me right now. Some say it's the most beautiful city in Europe. And it is in Poland. I'm thinking Lviv, but that's in Ukraine. It's it's near it's near Lviv, I think. Just on the other side of the border. No, I've never been to Cuba. I would like to go one day Havana. Very nice. One of my English students is from Venezuela, has moved to Colombia. She's an engineer. Yeah, the latest um video from one of my favorite YouTubers, Bald and Bankrupt. He went to Venezuela and he met a man who is now living under a bridge because he's so poor, but at one time he was an architect. So, all right. Saudi Arabia is in the house. Oh, the most beautiful city in Poland. I can't remember the name. All right. We do have a few more things to talk about, and then I must go. But how about this? Something called seasoned fries. Seasoned fries. Hang on, I got this right here for you. Did you know that season can be a verb? I'm sure you all know the noun season. We will talk about that in just a second, but you can season food. Often when you put salt and pepper on your food, you are seasoning it, seasoning it. You are making it taste better. So you can season food with pepper and salt. Seasoned fries have a lot of season on them. Probably salt, pepper, maybe some garlic, maybe some onion. All right, what is that city? I can't, I need to move on. All right. What's that? Jose's from Colombia. All right, Mahmoud, he's got to go. Hey, hope you have a good rest of the day in Mauritania. So, seasons. This is the seasons you might be familiar with. The noun, not the verb. We have four seasons where I live. Winter, spring, summer, fall. I know in Poland, where Luke lives, they have four seasons. But, Sita still here? Um, you might, Amina, 
just saw a super chat. Um, where Amina lives in Canada, they also have four seasons. But I've heard where Sita, Cecilia live, there aren't four seasons anymore. It's just really hot summer and kind of cool fall. But that's it. Amina, thank you so much for the very generous super chat. Do you have a little something for you? Oh, thank you so much for the super chat. Yeah, Amina is so generous. She drops these super chats every couple months, sometimes every month. So, see, Amina, thank you so much. Does mean a lot. I probably have bought like a new camera from all of the super chats that Amina has left. So, thank you so much. It does mean a lot. I know money is not easy to come by for a lot of folks around the world. So it does, it does mean a lot. And it means a lot that anybody is watching right now. There are so many English teachers on YouTube and Facebook. Somebody said, I think there are more English teachers than English learners. And they might be right. But Amina, thank you so much for choosing me for that super chat. It's pretty humbling. Yeah. So thank you so much for everyone who's who's watching and becoming a channel member. So many good English teachers out there. So many good ones out there. And I'm so happy that you are watching me. Krakow. That is the, thank you. Willina. Willina, thank you so much. That's the one I am looking for. Krakow. Krakow. All right. Thank you, Amina, again. Thank you. It's, it's amazing. Thank you so much. Anyone who donates um, or whatever, it's just awesome. I will try to keep doing my best to help you with your English. Oh, Mina has to go. Thank you so much. Right. How am I doing on time? Not well. I do need to to get go. Oh, Mina's going to Toronto today. I have never been to Toronto. I've never been to Ottawa, but those are two cities I would like to visit very soon. Oh yeah. Chef Cat. Yes. Bald and bankrupt. Huge fan. Yeah. He, um, I've always enjoyed different parts of the world. And bald and bankrupt goes to places where I can't go. So I love watching him as well. Harry is wondering, what do you what do you describe a person that acts like you? You've not known the right explanation, but you keep saying, I will not take one, and just pretend not to know it. Geez, I don't know. Hopefully honest. Yeah, I would hate to ever lie to anybody and say that I know all of the answers. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just honest, I guess. Yeah. But, um, since I've been teaching for 20 years and I teach students who are 13 and 14 and might believe everything I say, I need to make sure that what I say is as correct as possible. But you know, I'm just like anyone else. I get things wrong sometimes. All right. I need to go. I'm so sorry that I need to go. But I hope for about this hour that your English has improved. If you've listened to the whole thing, you have listened to an American English teacher, hopefully speaking at a pace that was good for you. Hopefully speaking clearly. Yeah. It is Krakow. Yeah. All right. I must go. I have two things that I need to do. I have a lot of schoolwork that I need to do. And I need to go to my brother's house in a little bit. We are going to have dinner over there. And yes, he is making French fries. If you check me out on Instagram, speak English with this guy, I will try to post some pictures of the French fries that he makes. He is going to be making seasoned fries. Oh, it's so good. So good. Again, Amina, 
Thank you so much for the super chat. Freddie Wolf, thank you so much for the super chat. Audie the Tie, thank you so much for the super chat. I also need to thank Filippo. He became a member. Where is it? I can't find it. I'm sorry, Filippo, but thank you so much. And there it is. And before the stream started, Tanya dropped a super chat. So thank you so much. I can't find it. Can't find it. Where is it? Tanya. There it is. Tanya. Thank you so much. If you're watching on replay, I know you had to go. You guys are the best. It makes coming on English, uh, coming on YouTube and teaching English amazing. I hope you feel the same way. Out of all the English teachers on YouTube, you chose to spend an hour with me. Thank you so much. Adios, amigos.